Okay, this is uh, Tom's Not Tiny Death Series. It must be uh, November 3rd or 4th, whatever. Scalded Hounds played at the uh, Tavern this weekend. Couldn't go see some band from there. Cheers to all those fucking homos. Um, not the band or any of the patrons, just the fucking owners. Anyway, um, if they only knew what I supported, they would. Eh, it doesn't matter. Small minds. Anyway, um, so I've had kind of a rough night tonight. Uh, I found out my daughter has some issues uh, with her brain and her mother because everybody knows that it's equal parenting in Minnesota and you should let the other person know exactly what's going on and, you know, the other parent and I had to find out third party, so I'm not too happy about much. So anyway, like most pathetic people, I'm down in my basement doing Tom's Not Tiny Death series because, uh, you know, uh, men don't have rights, men don't have feelings. And everybody knows that because they don't pop out of your asshole you shouldn't have, you know, you shouldn't care about your kids or pretty bitter right now. Anyway, I'm going to do a tune. Uh, this is for, uh, I'm not doing a lot of originals right now because I've been doing a lot of writing on originals. I actually wrote a tune tonight that is pretty interesting. I might need some collaboration from, this might need some swango guitar along with Tim Michelson. I might uh, see if I can coerce those guys, uh, two guitar players, ironically, to come over here and do some kind of ghosty shit. It actually needs some droopy reverb guitar, like uh, Tom can do, and it definitely needs some Pink Floyd wash. And uh, I might even play drums on it. How do you like that shit? Anyway, uh, I appreciate the three or four people that do listen to this stuff. I do try to take it seriously and keep everything out, politics, personal life, and all that stuff. And I did get my summit flag from the Summit Brewery, and, um, you know, maybe they'll have me play there now because they finally caved in. They got sick of me sending the videos there, so they really do like them, actually. It's pretty funny. Um, they said I'm funny, which... I guess that means something. So anyway, uh, I'm going to do a tune um, kind of on a Paul Westerberg kick. I've been listening to, uh, if anyone cares, um, the new Matt Wallace mixes off of Dead Man's Pop and the Bearsville versions of all the replacements tunes. Pretty cool. But it kind of forced me to go back and listen to uh, some of Paul Westerberg stuff off 14 songs and Suicane Gratification. And uh, the tune I'm going to do is knocking on mine. The harmonica solo is intentionally horseshit because if you listen to the original version of Christ, I don't think he had the right key harp. And um, when you hear it, I'm just kind of doing, hold it, listen. That was a fart. Um, we're all people. We have to get rid of this stuff too. Anyway, I do appreciate everyone that's listened to it and uh, not the fart, but my show. And I do support original music in the St. Croix, River Valley, and Minneapolis area. Uh, this is a shout out to Casey Barak from Porcupine, as well as Tim Michelson, and the Gentiles from uh, the Scalded Hounds and the Swangos. We all got to keep doing this because otherwise we'll go nuts. And Rich Matson as well, who recorded my uh, last EP, and Tom Jarrow over in Wazetta, who uh, worked for Prince, who mastered it. So here we go. And for all you gearheads, what I'm playing through is just a, a cheap grudge streamliner through a Marshall Origin 50 combo amp with a with a cannabis rectus speaker. And uh, I do use 11s. And it's on seven watts. And always sponsored by Summit, but tonight I'm drinking wine. And this song is called Knocking on Mine. <laughs>
Tom's Not Tiny Death Series on YouTube um, Sunday night before work. Anyway, uh, another shout out for original music. You got to keep doing the San Croix River Valley area. It is a, a catalyst and it can be done anywhere and it should be done here. And uh, Bob Zine, Mike Olson, and me have talked about it. And uh, it needs to stand and there's no reason not to do it. So. Anyone that's in the Minneapolis area, if you want to come over here, keep your eyes open on the calendars. And uh, if you catch the Swangos or the Scalded Hounds or me playing, come on over. I mean, you'll have a great time. It's it's cheaper, and uh, it's a great time. A lot of collaboration. Over and out. <laughs> 